Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to display dedicated VRAM usage in your games with MSI Afterburner and Rebutuna statistics server. So I'm just going to quickly show you a demonstration of what I'm referring to as um, this might be something you think you're already doing, but um, it's not that clear cut. So I'm just loading up uh, the Final Fantasy 15 uh, benchmark and you can see my on-screen display here. Now pay special attention to the allocated VRAM. This is something that you will be seeing in most of the on-screen displays on YouTube. Most people only monitor the allocated RAM. Now the allocated RAM isn't necessarily what the card is using. It's just what the engine or the gamers told the GPU to put to the side to use. Now um, the game could actually be using far less than five gigabytes. And the way to, dis the way to actually show that is to uh, monitor your dedicated VRAM usage. So I'm just gonna end the benchmark here. Now, in order for you to uh, show off dedicated usage, you do need to have, of course, MSI Afterburner. The version that I'm using is the 4.6.3 beta 2. You also need to have uh, Rebutuna statistics server as well. I'm using version 7.3.0 beta 6. So, so make sure you got both of those. Previous versions may work, but for the sake of argument, if you get these versions, you know it's definitely going to work. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings, then click the monitoring tab, and then you want to go to active hardware monitoring graphs. You'll see three little dots at the edge. You click that, and then there's a DLL called GPU.DLL. You want to check that box and let's click OK. Now what this does is it introduces additional monitoring fields for your on-screen display. Now these are all of the additional um, options you will get when you enable that GPU DLL. You'll get GPU dedicated memory usage, GPU shared memory usage, GPU dedicated memory usage um, process. That's the one that you want to uh, showing your on-screen display so that's why it says in OSD because I've checked that box that says show in on-screen display now I personally have a particular way I like to organize my uh, on-screen display so I'm bringing this back up to the top just underneath um, just above my memory usage so my original memory usage is I've renamed it allocated VRAM and I've renamed dedicated memory as dedicated VRAM. So you can rename these fields or you can leave them at default, but it's a lot easier for your audience if you do like uh, game game performance videos like myself to understand what you're trying to display. So just hit apply, hit okay. Um, so we're gonna load up Final Fantasy 15 again, only this time you should be seeing dedicated VRAM and allocated VRAM. As you remember, I mentioned before, that allocated VRAM isn't necessarily what the card is using. It's just what the uh, game engine has told the GPU to kind of put to one side. As you can see, the GPU is actually using 4.9 gigabytes rather than 5.7 gigabytes. So it kind of gives you a more accurate figure of what your graphics card is actually using. Um, I've been testing some games in 8K, as you know, the RTX 3090 has quite a lot of VRAM. So there'll be games, for example, I was playing Dark Souls uh, 3, I believe, in 8K. The game allocated 13 gigabytes, uh, but it was only using around 9. So um, it's always interesting to see exactly what your GPU is actually doing. So that's pretty much how it's done. Um, so any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. My actual on-screen display layout is something that's personal to me. Please do not ask me to make a guide on how to do that as it's something unique to my channel and I kind of want to keep that as something that you recognize as my own work. Yes, you can do this if you work it out yourself, but I'm not um, going to be sharing how to do that layout. There's plenty of good guides online if you want to start showing your own on-screen display throughout your games. My layout specifically uh, is personal to me. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you found this useful and uh, be sure to check out my upcoming videos. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.